The Rolling Stones with Can't You Hear Me Knocking. This is a quick uh, intro lesson uh, going out to Skype student flash subscriber Brian. So, kind of the talk has been open G tuning for this. I haven't found that. Um, I've looked up live. By the way, take a second and smash that subscribe button and hit all. Okay, we're approaching 200,000 subs and I really want to get there and you guys could be a key part of that so take a second and subscribe super active channel and hit like and all that good stuff so anyways like I was saying I watched him play it live Keith Richards and this is where he's playing it at and of course players change how they do things live but when I listen to the studio I'm not hearing tonality it being G tuning so uh anyways let's jump in standard tuning really cool fun if you're not looking for a full song this is a really cool rock and roll riff 10th fret D and G barred middle finger, pull off to the 9th fret. So we have to bar it, not single notes, so it's got to be barred. Pulling off. And then 12 AD with the pinky. Barred. Back to 9 DG, we're already there. 12 A, there's our first single note. 8 A, 10 D, it's an F5 power chord. Strum it, slide it a half step back to an E5 power chord. So we have... And then we go 8 or 10E, uh, 12A. Twice on the 10-12. And then 10-14. Matter of fact, you can hear the 12D if you can keep that in there. And then the 12D by itself. Or with the 12A. Then it goes 10 D and G. Hold on, let's try it. Let's play what we just did. Stay there. And then you go. It'll play around up here with the 10 12 twice again. 10 14. So. And then lift it off to 10 12. And then 10 15. So you really got to stretch, keep the thumb low. And then lift that off to 10 12. And then 10 12 twice. 10 14 once. And then the 12 AD. So. Okay. Then, so we have. DG staccato, just one quick hit. 12 AD, 9 DG, 12 A, so 8 10 AD, slide to 7 9, that's a repeat. So then we're back to this. 10 12 E A, twice, 10 14, and then 12 12 AD. Then it goes. Oops. Really cool. 10 D pull off to 9, or 10 D G pull off to 9 D G. 12 A D. So it's like the beginning, right? But it's different here. They're not going. This time it's just triple and, and then the power chord F5 sliding to E5. 10 E. Let it ring as you play the 7D, which you can bar with the index. I'm making it look easy, but that's a little tricky if you're not used to that type of thing. So. Then it's back to this thing. 10, 12, E, A twice. 10, 14. And then 12, A, D. So that's kind of the, the groove of what's happening. cool or is that cool a lot of fun to play if you're not used to the techniques like pull-offs and stuff like that 
like I said, it can be a little tricky. If you want to maybe try a single string. You know what I mean? But the goal is two strings. Take your time. I suggest subgroup this stuff. Take three, three chords at a time, four chords at a time. Go over it and over it. Maybe two, right? Maybe just going so you can get used to two strings. And it'll come together, you know, with time. Alrighty. Check out my paid services. I offer a custom song uh, tab transcribing and video as well. Service called Custom Video Tabs and Custom Tabs. Basically, you let me know what it is you want to learn, and I handwrite the tabs. Accuracy is the, the forefront of my mind with these. Of course, I can simplify them if you want. Um, and you can learn the songs you want to learn or the parts you want to learn. Custom means exactly that. If you just want the intro and the solo or just the solo, um, email me, rockinguitarlessons at hotmail.com. Uh, follow me on social media, and uh, I'm pretty much everywhere on social media. Share these videos, and... Um, yeah, and I also teach on Skype as well. So, till next time, I'm Mike Gross doing some stones with Can't You Hear Me Knocking. That's what you don't want to do. You and I meant to do that, right? So you want to go. That's what you really want to do, you know. Just, just in case you were wondering. All right, see ya.